everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So today I thought I would do a little tour of some of my favorite areas, favorite little corners of the house. So for those of you that have been around for a while, you'll know that we've been renovating our house for just under a year now. And we've actually recently started renovating the garden the last couple of months. So the house has gone on the back burner a little bit um, because we really want to concentrate on that and try and get it ready for the boys for the summer. Um, and we will come back to the house. There's still so much more that we want to do. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you the bits that I really love and that I walk past every day and just think, yeah, that looks just how I imagined it would look. Can we all just quickly say that if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. There's a button just down there. It should be in red and it will say subscribe subscribe and if you click it you'll get my videos popping up in your subscription box and if you click the notification bell you'll be notified whenever I make a new video so you'll be one of the first people to see it. So with all of that being said let's get into the video. So this is the first area that I wanted to show you. I'm sure I've probably shown you in a video but I definitely haven't done a kitchen tour. I know I've shown you on my Instagram because I love taking pictures of this area of the kitchen. Um, it just to me it looks so so nice and was even more than I ever hoped it would be. So I thought I would quickly talk you through it. So obviously this area over here, this is actually to box in our boiler. I think my dad did a great job because the boiler's really big. Um, but he also put this little shelf above so we could put these plants. They're actually like artificial plants and herbs. So we don't really have to worry about them being up so high. We don't need to get a watering can up there or anything. And they just look nice. And then I really wanted to do some open shelving in the kitchen. I knew it wouldn't be something that we really used, these are all more decorative um, and we keep all of our bowls and plates we actually use in the cupboard but I like that because it always looks nice. Um, so I get questions all the time about the shelves. The shelves and the brackets surprisingly were just from B&Q. I actually think they look really really nice. They're this sort of oak effect and they were really inexpensive. Then a lot of the items on the shelves I've collected over time from HomeSense. This plant, I think it's called Fika or Fika or something, that's from um, Ikea. So is this one and the watering can is also from Ikea, which I just thought looked really smart sort of with the plants. As though I watered them all the time, which I don't because they're not real. Um, and then yeah, we've got these bowls. Some of them, I think these ones are Denby. Um, yes, they are Denby bowls. I'm not sure of the name of this collection but I got them for a really good price from HomeSense. And then a couple of candles as well. And then these ones. People always kind of comment on the nice calming colours that they all are. And I just wanted them to be in these soft greys and blues. And I just think they work really well together. As you come down, we have um, herringbone tiles. Our tiler kind of hated us, but he did it. And I think they look really good. And I really wanted this sort of raw edge. So we do still have some snagging jobs to do, or lots around the house to be honest. And one of them is painting all here where um, the tile, when the tiles were being put on, it kind of got ruined. But so that needs to be done. Um, but apart from that, this is what we have on the worktop. The kitchen itself is a benchmarks kitchen. And this is the worktop we went for. It's kind of like a, I don't know what this one's called. It might be iceberg or something to do with ice. And it has this kind of sparkly flex in it. Um, definitely eventually when we do our, what will hopefully be our forever kitchen, I'd love to get marble or granite or something like that with a similar look. But for now, this was a good alternative. And I'm really, really happy with it. I also on here have a few bits and pieces. So I have... Um, this plant, which again is artificial, I do like to change this up when I get a bunch of flowers or something, but it's nice to just keep there all the time. Um, I can't remember, I think these eucalyptus leaves were from Dunelm and this was from HomeSense. I also have a soda stream. I worked with them last month and I'm using it all the time now to make sparkling water so it sits on the side all the time. Um, these chopping boards I collected over the space of a few years actually. This was from Matalan and you can always find nice ones in HomeSense which is where both of those ones were from. Spread bin also from HomeSense goes with the kind of bluey grey colours and vibe and then Method Cleaner was on sale in Sainsbury's last week so I got myself a little um, Method hand wash which is the limited edition which seems to have been about for a long time pink 
pomelo and it smells so good oh apart from that i just have a little candle by earl of east london we went there with costa last month when i was on a work trip with them and we did a candle making course and they were so lovely the guys that own it have got such a brilliant story and i ended up buying this smoke and musk candle from them because their whole collection smells incredible this is my office and this is definitely one of my favorite corners of the whole house i just love walking in this room because this is what you see as soon as you walk in and it just feels so girly and pretty and very me and it's really lovely to have a space like this i have done a room tour of this room so i'll link it below if you want to see what the whole room looks like if you haven't seen that yet um but i will quickly just talk you through a few things but obviously i won't go too in depth because it is all in that video i don't want you to kind of like have to see everything twice um but yeah i absolutely love how this space came together i wanted this room to be an office slash dressing room um quite multi-functional so i have my row here this is from Maison du Monde and underneath here is um, a drawer it looks quite messy at the moment I'm about to do a week of organizational videos and one of them is definitely going to be organizing all of my clothes because this isn't all of them um, but I really want to just get to a point where this row is really nice and organized and I have a bit of a capsule wardrobe going on because it's just got a bit crazy then up here I have a lac shelf from Ikea which houses most of my handbag collection now um, this was a fantastic find at HomeSense. I absolutely love it. It's so unique. Um, the gold legs on it are beautiful and tie in with the mirror and the rest of the room. The mirror is also from HomeSense. Then I've got some little hooks with some of my summer hats on and some bags. Then as we go over this side, it's kind of like going into my office area, but that's my chair my desk chair which I looked everywhere for for so long and that is from the range that was a complete bargain um, little cushion is also from home sense but on the top I just have some of my little pretty knickknacks basically I like the room to be organized but not too minimal I like the minimal look but I think it's nice to have pretty things around you things that make you happy things that inspire you I've got my jewelry little crystals I've got some hand cream by Aesop some Rogers and Gallet perfumes that I'm trying out, some Jo Malone. This has got jewellery in it and also some hair scarves and bows and stuff. Um, and a huge crystal here. I love crystals. I always have. So I've got some rose quartz and then some um, like a clear quartz. And I think it's going to be really good to change it up um, every so often as well with different clothes and bags and accessories and just move bits and pieces around. So this is our bathroom. I absolutely love this room. It was like my dream bathroom. I always wanted to have a roll top bath in particular all my life. Um, so when we decided to renovate this house, this was definitely something that I wanted to incorporate into this room. I have done a room tour of the bathroom as well. So all of the room tours that I've done and anything I mentioned, I will um, put in the description bar below for you. But I think it was when it had just been done. So it didn't have quite as many sort of decorative bits in it and stuff. Um, so the panelling was something that we knew we really wanted in this room. Um, my dad did all of that for us and it's painted in ferro and ball ammonite. And then the bath is from soak.com. Uh, we were very kindly um, gifted this bath and a few of the other white goods in the bathroom. Um, they didn't ask me to make this video but I just wanted to put that out there as a disclaimer. The floor is um, actually a tile by Laura Ashley. I forget the name, I think it's called mr jones but again i'll try and link it below for you and then we have a little um christy home floor bath mat floor bath mat bath mat <laughs> and then as you go up here um i have my mirror which we actually used to have above our bed but it doesn't really fit in our new room so i thought it would look nice in the bathroom and actually i think it goes really really well it makes quite a nice statement on the wall but it's not too in your face because it kind of is a similar colour to the wall. We really need to get our blinds. That is something that's desperately missing from this room. It's kind of ruining the finished look of this corner. And then also I've just got some of my favourite products. I've got an artificial plant from Ikea and some Neome Organics um, bath salts. These are the Perfect Night Sleep ones and this is the De-Stress bath and shower drops. I absolutely adore these and I try and be really um, like sparing with them because they smell so good that I don't want to use them all up. Um, but I actually use them, especially these, quite a lot and they last for ages. They're such good quality and I just absolutely 
adore this brand. And then this I have shown you in, I think, my Amazon Best Buyers video. But this is basically one of my favourite things in the whole room. I needed something for this corner, it just looked a bit bare. And I found this shelf on Amazon and it's this really lovely corner shelf which couldn't have fitted in this space like any better. If it was a couple of centimetres bigger it would have been too big. And then all of the accessories on it, well they're not really accessories, they're kind of bath products that we don't really use, they're more for show. They're all from HomeSense, I picked them up, and then this is just a little candle, which is also from HomeSense. And then the plant, again, is an artificial one from Next. And I think, what are these called? Uh, oh, it'll come to me as soon as I finish filming. Um, Strand of Pearls, I think they might be called. Anyway, I think that looks great. And I love these plants because I don't have to worry about them dying, I don't have to water them, um, and they always look good. Then onto my youngest little boy's bedroom. Again, I love this whole room. I have done a room tour on it, but I just wanted to show you my favorite little area, favorite corner, and it is definitely this wall that his bed's on. Um, so he went into a bed really early. He started climbing out of his cot at about 16 months old, and it was getting dangerous. So he had the side of his cot for a while, and then we got him this really cool big boy bed, and it's like a house style bed. It's from eBay. Um, we had quite a lot of problems with it, so I didn't want to recommend the seller to anyone, but just search house bed on eBay and you'll find loads come up. The reason I got this one, because a lot of them are usually on the floor, but I felt like we really needed this storage, so I got one with this drawer underneath. Now, as you can probably tell, um, one handle is different to the other, and that's because I bought the wrong pack at Ikea. Basically, I'm changing them to these little leather effect handles, um, but I currently only have one, so we'll ignore that. And then, um, let's start from the top quickly. This lion was actually a gift from someone, so I'm not exactly sure where it's from. Obviously, this is like a cutesy toy version. Um, we're not really into taxidermy here, but <laughs> I thought this looked really, really lovely and really cute. So that's sitting proudly above his bed, and he loves that. He loves animals. And then the dots, I've had a lot of questions about whether I painted them myself. And the answer to that is no. These are stickers from Etsy. Again, I'll try and link them below for you. Um, so easy to do. They took me about 20 minutes. I think I bought two packs and did his whole wall. And now it's kind of like a Dalmatian print, which I love. The paint, again, if you watched my... Um, room tour of this room, I won't go into it too much, but I mix the colour myself, which I wish I had never done, because a couple of weeks after it was finished, he actually rubbed, he found cream that I didn't realise he could reach, and he rubbed it all over the walls, so I'm, I haven't been able to get it off with anything, even my trusty magic erasers, which get off everything, so I can't just touch it up, because I completely made the paint myself, so I won't be doing that again in the future. The bedding was an absolute bargain at Primark. I found it reduced from £9 to £5, so I got two packs of this single bedding. This bed actually isn't a standard single. It's a bit smaller. It's a very strange size, actually, um, but we have just put single bedding stuff on it because you just can't buy stuff for this size bed. Um, but anyway, it fits in here perfectly. And then, yeah, quickly I'll just show you his cushions. I think are both from H&M. Um, this was just the cover and we put the insert in. And then this is one of his oldest toys that he got when he was born. He's called Nuggles the Giraffe and we actually did a little Instagram series of him most months with Nuggles as he got bigger in his first year. Um, and then this guy is a new addition. We were actually very kindly sent this um, by Cuddle and Kind. And for every doll sold, they give 10 meals to children that need them. They support different charities. And these are all handmade in Peru. They have a beautiful collection. They're so well made. I, I can't even tell you how incredible these um, toys are. And yeah, they do some beautiful ones. But this guy is called Elliot. So I had to get it. It was perfect. It matches his room. It's his name. And little fawns are one of my favourite kind of animals. So he loves it. And he's in his bed with him every night. This print. And this was from an Etsy seller. And it just worked perfectly with the room. Um, because we also got him this rug. Which I forgot to mention in his room tour, I think. This is from Ikea. And the colours of it are just perfect with the print. So it was just meant to be. It's a bit of a rough rug, I'm not gonna lie. It's maybe not meant for a child's room, um, but he doesn't seem too bothered by it. He doesn't, you know, 
he's not on it that much and if he ever wants to play in the whole room we just pull it to one side um so yeah i really love that as well it's about 25 to 30 pounds from ikea finally i wanted to show you this area of our snug i absolutely love it again as i've said in every clip i have got a full room tour of this video from the renovation right from the start up until basically what it looks like now so you can see the full room but i just love this corner in particular because not so much the shelves over there, but these shelves are more or less how I want them to be. I do want to change them up slightly, but anyway. Um, my dad built all of this built-in alcove shelving and cupboards. Um, and I just absolutely love the way they look. Again, I always wanted a room with a fireplace and then built-in shelving. And this has just kind of made my dreams come true, basically. Um, so I'll quickly talk you through it again. So this is the shelving. A lot of the pieces on here are from HomeSense. And I've been collecting them up over time basically I want in this room everything to kind of look like these natural um, like jugs and urns and glassware and in all these colors a bit like the kitchen um, but it's just the kind of thing that you have to collect over time I suppose so I have all of this I have a few little prints like this line drawn one and this one which I think I got from Etsy and then yeah just little bits and bobs that I've collected like I said mainly from home sense over time I really love this one as well. Then the chimney breast over here is painted ammonite by Farrell and Ball. This mirror is from Brissy, and then we have just a little vase of faux lamb's ear on the um, fireplace surround. That's the word I'm looking for. And then we have our log burner in here. I'm not sure if it's on. Yeah, it's on from the plug, so you can just switch it on. It lets out heat, and you can also have it with the kind of the fire on. Um, but without any heat coming out so it just looks really nice it gives a really nice effect but it's not an actual log burner and then we have the um, candlesticks which don't actually have candles at the moment because my children ruin them <laughs> and also um, the little marble fire surround which was actually done with tiles that were left over from our bathroom so that was quite cost effective in this corner we have our little chair we've had this for years it was from next I think it was an X display one so it was a really good price um, can't remember the style of it or the name or anything but we've had it for a long time the little cushion on it as well is also from next we had them have them on our other sofa in this room they're just little pom-pom ones which i thought were lovely and then we have a planter and a plant which i believe again were both from home sense but so there we go that was quite a bit longer than i anticipated it being i thought this was going to be a really quick video it wasn't if you did get to the end then thank you so much for watching the whole video i hope you enjoyed it and leave me a little comment below letting me know which was your favorite area that i showed today and i really hope i can do this again in the near future with five more of my favorite corners of the house once a few more rooms have been done um yeah thank you so much for watching everyone make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you in another video very soon bye guys mm -hmm.